So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week nine. And we're also going to be looking at the Eververse stuff because it is Halloween and this is usually what I do. Uh, before that, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow. But let's just get started. So first and foremost, Astral Assault. Defeat combatants with auto rifles and melee attacks. Defeating combatants in the Astral Alignment activity grants bonus progress. Uh, this one's not too hard, especially if you combine it with Legendary Leyliner. Complete the Astral Alignment activity at Legendary Difficulty. These two meld well just because, you know, you can complete this while you're completing this. Maybe not the melee portion, but at least the auto rifle portion, definitely. And then after that, you can just go ham on however many you need to complete this. This one's not too hard, obviously, uh, just melees and auto rifle kills. This one, on the other hand, depending on what light level you are and how annoying it is, can be annoying. But other than that, these two should be pretty simple. Trial by Firing Squad win multiple rounds in Trials of Osiris. This one might be the one that people don't like to do just because, again, Trials of Osiris is not everyone's cup of tea, but we do have matchmaking this time, and you might never know you might get a really good Trials of Osiris weapon because you do get one from for completing this, and you get Bright this, so, I mean, might as well. Elemental Gambit. Complete Gambit matches with each Elemental subclass. This was not too hard. Just complete six matches with Arc Void, and solar or stasis so solar or stasis that's pretty cool if you don't want to run stasis because stasis to me uh depending what class you're playing is really annoying so i would i'm definitely going to do this just because why not it's bright dust as well next one is armory wide calibration calibrate kinetic energy power weapons bonus progress against champions this one's going to be super dope because you're going to be able to get it from anything you're doing astral assault legendary Leyliner. you're still going to be able to complete this one way or another uh, I would pair this with elemental splicing complete strikes as each elemental subclass arc void solar or stasis Because not only do you get bright dust experience, but you also get the shader for this. So that's pretty cool I'm definitely gonna get this because that shader looks pretty dope But that's pretty much it for the seasonal challenges. If you have any questions comments concerns, let me know in the comments below I'll definitely answer them uh, Let's look at Eververse real quick. So let's see what she's at She's selling the new shader, which is pretty dope. Um, it's not bad. It's probably just like what I'm wearing. It's not good, but I'm definitely gonna buy it. Uh, Skitterscape, which was. Oh shit! It actually changes. What? Oh, that's fucking cool. I want it now. I didn't think it would change the the animation when you're going. When you're boosting, that's mm, I hate Bungie. Why? Why you do this? That's so fucking cool, bro. Man, I want it. Uh, Titan Mark or Titan Mask, I think is pretty cool. I definitely would get this just to like make a Titan build for my hunter or Warlock as well. Uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, let's see what she's selling at the bottom. Bottom. So Howling Projection, which is I guess. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern mask, which is like obviously I have this uh, The Des Desmodus, I don't know how to say that I'm the, I was not a big fan of this last year I'm not a big fan of or the year before. I don't know uh, The necro beast, which is pretty cool. I guess Not as cool as the spider one, but it's definitely cool and then the stone crafts amalgam shell, which I think looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, there's obviously emotes, but I usually never really show these because I don't care. Although there's some people who might. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. I just saw something. <clears throat> I think she's selling another shader as well. Yeah, Wayfarers, guys. Oh, snap. That's a green. I'm picking that up right now. Uh, Byzantium uh, Lotus. I like this one. I'm not like like exactly like the biggest fan of it but i think it looks cool uh sunrise warrior which eh whatever then the next one this one you guys need to get it's so good i love this shader this shader is legit a like a fire shader i i love this shader it's one of my favorites and that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm really excited to uh get started on some of these uh stuffs uh i will be posting the what's it called let me see if i can find one uh dream city maybe yeah so i'm gonna start posting the 
the legends lost sectors on friday saturdays and sundays if i remember correctly so that way if people want to run it uh, i'll give like my my guide on it basically so be safe guys let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions comments concerns and i will see you guys later